Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Let's Make an Open World RPG, Dawn, I mean Dear Heart. In this episode, we're going to be setting up um, the Alpha ABS. So before we do that, let's go ahead and get those files that we would require in order to set it up. Um, so let's go ahead and find that download. Okay, so now we're And I got a thing the Lord, he took me out the maze. Two tunes, that's the sound of a new bitch. 2020, oh yeah, gotta get rich. Okay, so we just gotta download the zip file. Once that's done, open it up. This should has uh this should have everything that you need in order to get the game up. I mean to get your ABS up and running. Uh all you have to do is literally copy these folders into your game project. So let's see. So if this was my game project, what I would do is I would go ahead and copy this over. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it because I already have those files, but I'm going to skip because I already have those files. Um, but it should give you all the stuff that you need, including the plugin, the image files, as well as the data um, stuff that you need up here. So once you have all those files in your game, um, what you want to do is open up RPG Maker MV. Uh, so uh, of course, regularly you go into your plugin menu and then you will look for the ABS, which will be this one and you will add it to your game. But we're going to do something a little bit different because I want to keep the settings the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it from my, from the actual game, paste it over. Um, so pretty much all these perimeters are straightforward. Um, the stuff in the top half is pretty much controlling the interface and how it looks and what happens when the player gets damaged. Um, enemy, uh, dead switch, um, what happens when the enemy dies, it turns on a self switch D. Um, the revive animation ID, the level up animation ID, um, game over map, whenever you die, what happens, it gets transported to this map and then what direction and position. Um... And then the, another important one is the enemy spawn map ID, which is where the enemies will spawn in um, the game world from. Uh, so all those are pretty much straight forward. So the other thing we have to do is go into our database, go into skills, look for our attack skill, and we have to add a couple of uh, lines to it. So let's delete this. The first one you want to add is ABS zero, telling us that this skill um, can be used by the battle system and the type of the, uh, attack it is, it's a melee, which is what the zero stands for. Um, there's other types, which we'll get into later as we need them. Um, then we have the reload perimeter, um, which pretty much means how fast you can actually attack. Uh, so for mine, I have my set to whatever your agility is, divided by four plus attack speed. Uh, so the more agility you have, the faster the weapon obviously swings. Uh, so after you do that, we also have to make it a uh, weapon. So right now we're just testing it. So we're going to make a simple sword. Uh, same thing for the sword. You have to add the no tags um, ABS zero to let the um, battle system know that um, you're using this weapon for it. And no target pretty much um, allows us to swing the sword whenever we want or use the weapon whenever we want um, without needing a target. Uh, so pretty much like Zelda type versus... Um, world of warcraft where you have to click on the target move up to the target and then when you're in range it will start attacking that target um so yeah so if we hit okay uh, make sure that make sure that our character actually has that sword equipped which he does let's play the game and make sure everything is working oh sorry you opened it um All right, it's working, no crashes. Right now it won't allow us to attack because we missed one more step. So in order to allow your maps um, to be used with the ABS, you have to also tag those maps with, well, for the maps it's just ABS. All right, so once we enter the main map, as you can see, it works, it works, it works. So we could attack, we could do all that other stuff. My reload time is real slow. 
that's why it takes forever to swing all right so now that we have the abs set up um we're not really going to be making the weapon types now uh, we're going to be setting up some enemies so what we're going to do is go into the database because you know we have to populate our world with stuff for you to kill go to enemies now for the enemies okay so to set up the enemies um it's pretty much straightforward um again all the stats are the same you just make it whatever you want the one thing you do have to add into every enemy is the attack speed so that's how fast the enemy can actually attack the player um and also keep in mind that this whole formula um is based off of whatever skill you have set here so the reload perimeter is also this so the less agility your i mean the more agility your enemies have the more um or the faster they actually attack um so let's go back to enemy um the other stuff is optional like pretty much these stuff right here and i'm gonna also tell you what um those do the rest of this stuff is just um, from another script which i mean plugin which we will um explore later but for the first half of this um all this pretty much does is whenever you die whenever you die it calls the common event eight whenever um an encounter starts with this enemy it calls common event six um let me go back to enemies uh revive time is how long it takes for the enemy to revive if you leave that blank it will automatically set um reviving it to default time our uh, return time is pretty much whenever the enemy is chasing you how does it return back to its position does it just fly back or does it just actually move back or what um and then it's um enemy on escape on battle so if the enemy's losing they could actually run away and stuff um abs loot means the enemy does drop stuff when it dies so you could loot it um and then skills again you could set those um normal everything is mainly normal except for you know again if you leave all of this blank it will still work except for make sure you keep that attack speed um set uh so now that we have our enemies we could just literally copy all of this go back to the tool database you can make your own unique enemies um i'm also going to explain to you guys what um what those common events are actually set up for okay, paste all right so we have a basic enemy slime bats um, some more um outrageous stuff like dragons keep in mind i also have a plugin that um levels the enemies based on your level um so let's talk about those common events so whenever you die uh the enemy dies it calls a common event eight um all that's doing is keeping track of your um your weapon skills so whenever you kill an enemy using a certain type of weapon it gets better so that's all that really does so if i go over here to common event eight um all it does is again level up your weapon proficiency uh and then six just kind of starts that whole process and it ends at eight um again we'll get into um detail we'll get into further detail of that later but for now we have our enemies we have our abs set up the other thing that we need to do is actually make a spawn map which we already have so this is where all our enemies will be spawning in from um again when you're making an enemy to set that up first thing you need to do is uh well you're gonna really need two event pages one for the enemy when it's alive and one for the enemy when it's dead the extra ones that i have here is just um when it spawns it spawns in random colors to keep it interesting um if you want to know how that's done leave a comment down below and i'll make a separate video video for that um so pretty much um another thing you do have to set for the enemy is abs and then whatever event id it is so for example if i open this on this page um enemy one will be this bat so again you make the image correspond with your enemy type you set it to you know point to enemy id one which is the bat so now this event is a bat whenever it spawns in it will have the stats and name of a bat 
um, when it dies, um, it will go to this, um, you know, will turn on cell switch D, which will then allow you to loot it and then it can respawn later for the cycle to begin anew. Um, so that's pretty much what I have done for all these enemies. There's nothing real special, like for example, this one's a regular Goblin Scout, it just has a, a 1 and 2. Some of them do have options where they can actually change appearances and color, like for example, this one. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward. But after you have all of that done, now we actually need to wait for the enemies to spawn into the world. Um, so let's go ahead and go to common event over here. Uh, we have a whole common event dedicated just to spawning enemies into the world. We're going to copy that over and then I'll explain to you guys what that does exactly. So common event, make it number two. So pretty much, um, um, and all it's doing is it's running these plugin commands and spawning those enemies in the um, world map. Uh, some enemies spawn in sometimes, some don't spawn in other times. You, we don't have to really get into detail with this and how it's um, randomized. All you would need to know is in order to spawn an enemy into the world, you just have to run this command here, which is ABS um, spawn one, two. So one is pretty much the, the ID, so the event ID. So for example, this one is spawning this bat to region ID on whatever map you specify, which is their heart. And then whatever region region is two. So you see all the twos, that's where those um, bats will spawn. Um, they won't spawn in three, they won't spawn in four, they will only spawn in uh, two. Now, beforehand when I made the map, I also kind of painted the region ID. So this is also up to you. Um, so it's kind of helpful to keep track of where what enemies spawn where so for example only snow enemies will spawn in the snow snowy area and for that i have region id 3. um so if we test this game out now so we could just use this we don't really have to turn this on now new event call common event so it really just have to do it um every time you enter the map uh common event change that to two hit okay Make sure that it raises the event. Parallel process, hit OK. When we play. There we go. I got worried for a second that nothing spawned in, but as you can see, we got one. Slime. All right, so now we have an enemy spawning in. Again, if you guys need to know exactly how I do my um, my random spawns, just let me know. It's just inventing. It's not really anything special. Um, so that's how you set up your, um, well, that's how I set up my Alpha ABS. In the next episode, we're going to continue with the Alpha ABS. We're going to add some more, well, we're going to start adding the weapon types and stuff like that. So we're going to make all of our weapons that we need. Um, and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do some more stuff on that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Also make sure to hit the notification icon to be notified every time I do release those new videos. Make sure to like, comment, and let me know um, what you guys think or whatever you guys need me to do for you guys in terms of videos, let me know. Also, I have a single coming out called Light Skin John on Valentine's Day. Make sure you guys save that on Spotify. The e, uh, the artist is ED5. I will put the links all down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And peace.